I'm going to ask, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people are asking you guys about your relationship with the kind of game. I just wondered, because I actually came into this relatively kind of fresh. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's quite, there's something that's almost beneficial, quite in, unique about coming into this world fresh and for you guys, kind of being able to just judge it on the scripts you've got and the characters that you're kind of playing? Yes, yes, because I think, you know, there's a reason why the, the Fallout franchise, the games uh, has been humongous you know what i mean uh, i was super new to it super fresh like you um so reading the script with a tone like the video game i thought who who, who wrote this like truly like mm -hmm. what the where does this come from you know and it's existed so fans recognizing it i hope uh, immediately but uh, for the newcomers being surprised Mm. Yeah, it's funny. We I haven't been asked about the benefits of not being familiar with it, and I hadn't really thought about it. But actually, there is a certain um, you know it makes you more malleable, maybe, and, and, and open to direction, and you're not so attached to a certain way of doing things. And it also allows you to enter into this world for the first time in the most unique, spectacular way. Like I'm a Fallout fan for life, 100%. And um, just being able to come in and wear the Pip Boy and the suit and walk into the vault and have that mean something like so, on such a great magnitude is, yeah. I mean, the sets are amazing in this. You could tell it kind of looks incredible. I mean, just what, do you remember that first day on set when you first walked on and saw it all in real life? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the chemistry test. Yeah, we, we got to do a chemistry test in New York on uh, the vault set. Uh, Wearing costumes, Ella, first time vault suit was but it there? First time wearing the vault suit and acting in it. I'd mm -hmm. done fittings to fit the vault suit, but it's my first time with the whole thing on it, in the vault. And, you know, thank God it wasn't our first day of filming because I was freaking oh, out. Yeah. I was just freaking out. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would have been nerve wracking. Yeah. What happens in a chemistry test? They're just like, just get on, see if you get you on, know, see what happens. I'm never, I'm not really no. sure. I, I guess. <laughs> You just do it, don't you? But yeah. we had quite, it was an intense, it wasn't a real scene, it was like, know, like a fake one they yeah, just made. Scene. But it was a really intense, intense circumstances, one. Yeah. And we sort of just met for the first time doing this really <laughs> dramatic scene together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I think Lucy has a really lovely outlook and demeanor, I think, kind of on life, a kind of optimism to the point, but she's never kind of, she's quite to the point, but never kind of rude with it. Uh, and obviously Maximus, however, has quite a sort of an internal struggle. There's more kind of, there's a lot of sort of going on as well. I just wondered, they both have, they're both quite different in some ways, but both pose quite equally as strong challenges. Could you talk a little bit about accessing the kind of, these characters and the kind of what they're, they're both of their respective differences, I suppose? Yeah, well, I mean, a key one for us is, you know, where they were born and raised, you know, Lucy in the vault, Maximus on, you know, the surface in the wasteland his whole life. Um, but really important, I think, for us to develop these vastly different worlds, uh, you know, so that when we are on screen, you know, with each other, the ghoul included as well, you know, we're contrasting each other, it's mm. conflict. Um, we did find that there are things that, you know, similarities as well as differences with Max and Lucy and things that we need, I think, as characters from each other. Um, yeah, definitely. I think the, the optimism that you're talking about is such a unique um, thing in Fallout because that because it is so apocalyptic and you know lawless and so taking you know essentially an innocent, an innocent character and putting them in the wasteland like that contrast is so fun to play with being able to also capture the tone of the games and the yeah. the dark and the light the comedy and the um, sort of political heaviness that is going on is um, yeah I think that's key as well. I think there's a lot of, there's a kind of, sort of, there's a lot of characters who have got that optimism and some that are more pessimistic. Where do you think you both fall on the kind of, the scale? Well, personally. Oh, yeah. yeah. Probably more optimistic. I, mean, I think middle, right in the middle. Really? Yeah, yeah you never know. Depends Find on me day. on a different day, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and did you guys, you spoke about the sort of sets and the kind of, and the way it all sort of looked and imagine the, and the costumes are great. Did you get to keep any souvenirs at the end or? Given or stolen, I won't tell. He's got actually a, a power suit, a full, a full power suit. Can you in imagine his, in his bedroom? That, but I'd be I'm doing, trying to get that home in your suitcase. I would be doing <laughs> memeable things in there, like going to the playgrounds in the in the full armor. I would go to the mall, you know. <laughs> oh, that would be fun. Just to no, say, excuse me. <laughs> we didn't steal anything. Well, I didn't steal anything. I really wish I had. Um, I did ask. <laughs> I asked, and they just kept saying, no, yes, no, no, you can't have a pit boy, you can't have a power suit. You just have to need a second series now, that's, and then... Just Make it happen. Get stuff. <laughs> exactly, I'll have a word. Right, thank you guys, much appreciate it. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys! <laughs> hey, you guys! <laughs> 
Hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys.